Hello, in this video we are going to explore how to symbolize points with a high density. We are going to explore different renderers in the layer styling panel and in the end we will create a heat map. We will use data from OpenStreetMap on water taps in the Netherlands. This video is part of the IHE Delft summer course creating data visualizations with graphs, maps and animations. You can find the free tutorial also on GI's open courseware. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Let's first create a nice backdrop. We're going to use the MapTiler plugin. MapTiler provides very nice vector tiles that we can customize in QGIS in terms of styling and labeling. Install the plugin from the Plugins Manager. After installing, you will find the MapTiler section in the browser panel. Click right and choose Account. It needs an API access key. Use the link to go to the MapTiler webpage and create an account or login to an existing account. Then find under the account the API keys and copy your API key. Go back to QGIS and paste your API key and click OK. This API key is now stored for further sessions. Let's explore the basic vector tile. Click right and choose Add as Vector, which means you add it as a vector tile. Some of the styles could not be converted and gives an error, but you can ignore that. Zoom in on the Netherlands. Now expand the basic layer group and you'll find two layers, MapTiler Planet and Background. Click on MapTiler Planet and open the layer styling panel to change the styles. Let's switch off all the roads by unchecking the boxes of layers related to roads. You can also click on a style and modify it. Let's go to the Labels tab and remove the label for the country. If we click on uh, the label, then we can also change the settings of the label. So you see that vector tiles are a really nice and easy way to uh, customize your base maps. You can also change the background layer. And it works exactly the same as styling polygons in this case. So you can uh, choose another fill color. And let's uh, use uh, some green here. There are also other maps that we can add from the MapTiler cloud. Click right on MapTiler in the browser panel and choose Add New Map and go to MapTiler Cloud. And we're going to add Dark Matter. Click OK to add the vector tile to our list in the browser panel. Click right on it and add it as a vector. Also here, ignore the error. We remove the basic layer, because we're going to proceed with the Dark Matter layer. Expand the Dark Matter group and choose MapTiler Planet. And first we're going to remove all the roads, because they are not necessary for our visualization of uh, the water taps later. Also remove the railways, but keep the boundaries. And remove the points of the cities, we just want the labels. But what's now very ugly are all these labels of uh, the roads, so let's go to the Labels tab and remove all the labels except for the places. Also remove the label for the country, because it's clear that we focus on the Netherlands. We can also change the background here to um, a grey fill. We can use the slider and uh, choose a 30% grey. Now let's download the point dataset that we want to visualize and we're going to use the QuickOSM plugin for that. Search for QuickOSM in the Plugins Manager and install the plugin. You can open the dialog by clicking this icon and there it needs a key and a value and you can find this on this page. I will also put the link in uh, the description of this video and you see that uh, all the attributes, they're not really attributes in uh, OpenStreetMap, are based on keys and values. So we're searching for the one uh, for the water taps. And here we have it. Amenity is the key and drinking water is the value and that will give us all the water taps as points. So let's fill the dialog of the quick OSM with the key and the value and at in we can also type the name of a country, a region or a city, so we use Netherlands. Make sure that we only select points. And because it's quite large for the whole country, we increase the timeout to 60. And then we run the query. 
After a while, it's uh, downloaded and it's added here at the wrong place. So we choose move to top, but it will move it to the top inside the group. But we can also move it out of the group. And here we see that it has a default uh, styling for some reason in categorized, but we're going to play with that. Let's first uh, change the renderer from categorized to single symbol to see all the points. And it will use uh, a random color here. In uh, my case, that's green. And you see that uh, that's not a really clear uh, representation. There's a lot of overlaps in areas where there's a high density of points. So let's change it to the point displacement renderer. This displaces points that are uh, overlapping and within a certain distance that you uh, specify and you can choose if you want then the points in concentric rings around it or in a grid and you can play with uh, the distance values or change it to 10 and then back to ring then you see how it visualizes uh, the points that's also not really uh, what we want so uh, let's try another renderer Let's go to point cluster and the point cluster renderer will cluster points that are within a certain distance and I change it now back to three. So if they are in a distance of three millimeters, then um, it will create a red dot and the ones that are further are the original green dots and we can make visible how many uh, points these red dots contain by going to the cluster symbol and we add an extra marker and we change that to a font marker so we can add text inside the dots make sure that you choose uh, black for the fill color otherwise you cannot see the text you see it already displayed and then you can go at characters to um, the data defined override and look there for the variable cluster size and then it will show you the size of the clusters. But it's very small, so we still need to play with um, the font size or the marker size. And uh, let's change that to five. And now we see how big these uh, clusters in the red dots uh, are. It's not really a nice uh, representation like this. We could still tune it further, but still this is not what we need. So a better way to uh, visualize high density points or the distribution of the points is using a heat map. So I change now to the heat map renderer and it by default uses a grayscale ramp. So let's uh, change this. I change it to CVDIS. And under layer rendering, I want to multiply this with the background layer. But that doesn't give a nice result because of the darkness of uh, the background. So let's just uncheck the background. You could also make it white. And then um, we see the blue from the ramp and we see here the clusters of points highlighted in the heat map in a more yellowish color. You can further improve this by uh, removing the land use polygons because the focus is really um, the heat map and it should be on a quite neutral background map that does not interrupt too much. Let's change the projection of this map to the Dutch projection. Accept the transformation settings. You can play with the radius. If I make it small, it will have uh, less uh, areas with the uh, yellow. If I make it very large, larger areas will be uh, covered. So I choose here a radius of uh, 20 because this gives a nice uh, effect. And you can change the rendering quality. If you put it at best, it will take uh, some time to render, but it will have a much higher resolution. I'm still not happy with the labels. I don't like that they have um, uppercase. So I'm going to edit that for all of them, remove the uppercase except for the capital. So there may be still too many labels. I'm going to remove a few that uh, we don't really need to orient as a user. And this is our uh, map. You can further improve it by uh, editing the vector tiles symbolization. Now let's make the layer permanent. Change the layer name to water taps. 
it will start rendering again. And this is our final result. You can of course uh, improve it further, especially the labels can be done a bit better. But this is essentially how it works to uh, visualize high density points in QGIS. Mm -hmm.